Part two, we are going to continue with the perimeter and area of a trapezium. You will find this on page 199 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at example two. The figure shows a trapezium ABCD where AB is 15 centimeters, AD is 8 centimeters. If the area and the perimeter of the trapezium are 104 and 42.9, so this will be the area, the one they mentioned first, and this will be the perimeter, the one they mentioned second, respectively. Calculate the length of C, C, D. Okay. Now, and then B, C. Now, if we start, the height of a trapezium is given by the length of AD. Remember, that side makes again a 90 degree angle, and that's why it's also the height. So, the area of a trapezium, first write down your formula. Then just do substitution. You have the area. There's the area. Substitute. Um, you have one parallel side. Just substitute your other, other parallel side times 8. And now, basically, you're just going to solve this equation. So, a half times 8, that will be 4. And if I want now, okay, I want to get rid of this multiply 4, I will, let me just show you, I will divide by 4 on both sides. And that's what I did there. And then to get, this is positive 15. If I want CD alone, I subtract 15 on both sides. And I get that the value of CD, and I can write it in, that will be 11 centimeters. Okay. Now, the perimeter of the trapezium. Now, remember, the perimeter is just adding all the sides. But I know that the perimeter is 42.9, so I just substitute it. And then basically... I will just, because I want BC alone, this is positive, so I subtract 15, subtract 11, subtract 8 on both sides. Okay. Uh, or I, in this case, I first add it up, and then 15 plus 11 plus 8 will be 34, and then I subtract it on both sides, and I get that BC equals 8.9. So the length of BC is 8.9. Okay. I want you to do for me, try now, Try now to just number one, number A as well as number B. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. So we are at try now two, and we're going to start with number one, A. Okay. The figure shows a trapezium, okay, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, where A, B is 14, CD is 10. If the area of the perimeter of the trapezium is 72 and this. So remember, the square one will be the area. And the one without a square will be the perimeter. Or the first one will be the area because they mention area first. And then they mention perimeter, so that will be the second one. So that's, that's two ways how you can recall which, is, which one is the area and which one is the perimeter. Okay. Calculate the length of AD. So this is the length. Now, the first thing that you have to do is you have to start with the formula. So the area, and we're going to just say trapezium. It's not necessary, but it keeps nice order in your calculation. And that is a half. And now we're going to call the parallel sides. Um, I think we're going to call it DC plus AB. And we are going to multiply it with the height. I'm just going to say height. Okay. Now, what is the area? We have the area. That is the 72. We have, let's see, what do we have? We don't have DC, but we have AB. What is AB? That is 14. And remember, because there's a 90 degree, this one is also the height. Now, do we have the height? Let's just see if we have the height here. Um, so, it looks like me we have both parallel sides. Oh, so let's just correct that one. So, the height is missing. We have that parallel side. Can you see that? So, because that parallel side, DC, was 10. And I'm looking for the height. Okay. So, then I will have 72 
Okay, now I can first add up this two. Now if I say 10, this will be 24. And there's my height. I can even simplify and say a half of 24, that will be 12. And now this is almost like x. So you just divide by 12 and you just divide by 12 and the value of the height will be exactly 6. So therefore, I say AD is equal to 6 meters. Okay, that's how I will do number A. Now, how will I do number B? Now, number B, they ask BC. Let's read BC. Now, remember, you have this one now, the height, that's 6. So, and you have also the perimeter. So, let's start by saying the perimeter. Let's just keep to white. The perimeter of the trapezium. It's going to be, and it's just adding all the sides. So it's DC plus CB plus BA. Oh, it might be. Plus, and the last one will be AD. Okay. I'm just going to move this equal sign. Otherwise, we're going to make it too difficult. So DC... So what will DC, let's just look. Um, if I look at this one, I'm going to say that uh, first, first I'm going to write in the perimeter. Okay, I think just for explanation, I'm just going to keep it a little bit closer to this one. It's always best to write it underneath each other. So the perimeter, what is the perimeter? 37.2. What is DC? Let's just look. DC is 10. What is CB? CB I don't have. What is uh, BA? 14. And what is AD? 6. Okay. So I have 37.2. Okay. And now I'm just going to add this up. And if I add that up all, I'm going to 10 plus this plus this is going to give me 30. Plus BC or CB, doesn't matter. So, and now to, to solve this equation, I will subtract 30 on both sides. So, it will be 37.2 minus 30. And that will be equal to BC. And then I will get that B. Okay, let's just rewrite that. That BC will be equal to... 7.2. So therefore, BC, um, as they were asking me, let's just rewrite that one. BC is equal to 7.2, and that will be meters. Okay. And that's how I, if they are giving me the area and the perimeter, and I must work out a site, this is the way I will do it.